Yo, what's up, guys? James Carter TV here to recap the Sunday night football game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Carolina Panthers. This game being in Carolina. And that's what really shocks me. Because if you were watching this game, you would think that without a doubt, it was in Pittsburgh. Not only did the score reflect that, but even when I'm listening to the crowd, it sounded like a good part of this crowd were Pittsburgh Steelers fans. And they were pretty much were loud during the second half. And they were overbearing the Panthers fans. And I, and I find that completely hard to believe. But we do know Steelers fans like to travel well. They traveled well once again. I mean, I heard that it was only an hour flight between Pittsburgh to Carolina. And leading up to this game, initially I had the Carolina Panthers beating the Pittsburgh Steelers. But the more I thought about it, and the more I thought back to my preseason prediction that the Carolina Panthers would take a step back this season, I said, you know what, I think this is the game where they trip up a little bit, and the Steelers have had 10 days to prepare for this game. I think they're going to come out, and I think they're going to catch the Panthers off guard, and that is exactly what they did, except not anywhere close to the fashion that I thought that they would. 37-19 to 19 final score, and wow, I looking at this game, you don't think... Uh, statistically, you don't think it was that bad. I mean, you know, Cam Newton completed 24 out of, what, 35 of his passes, 250 yards, a touchdown. Yeah, he played pretty well. But the offensive line could not give him protection. They would always get sacked, or he would always get uh, sacked, excuse me, on third down. Uh, running game was okay. Pedestrian, Jonathan Stewart ran the ball well, got injured. He seems to always be injured now. That's his thing. D'Angelo Williams, where was he? I didn't see him today. Uh, you know, Kelvin Benjamin, I think this guy's going to be Offensive Rookie of the Year. I said this preseason. He's just validating it now. He played great. So statistically, they played well, but they just Pittsburgh overwhelmed them. They overwhelmed the vaunted Panthers defense that looked pretty pedestrian here today. And this is why I was very shaky about the Panthers leading up to this season. Their secondary has major concerns to me, and Antonio Brown torched the secondary today. He had two touchdowns and almost over 100 yards as well to go along with that. Spectacular game from him. He's validating why I had him as a top 10 wide receiver and maybe why he should be considered to be a top 5. He's consistent week in, week out. This is the last year you're going to get this guy outside of the top 20 in your fantasy league. He is great. Le'Veon Bell ran the ball very well today. He had like a 60 or 70 yard gain uh, that, that put the Steelers at, um, not ahead, but put them in position to end up scoring a touchdown, which was a major drive in the game because the Steelers, they, they were pounding away in the beginning, three points, three points, three points, leading nine to three, but they needed a big punch, and they got that big punch in the third quarter of the game, 16-3, uh, and then they got another punch uh, shortly thereafter, and then they got another punch on what was a muffed punt um, by, what, what's his name, something Brown, Philly Brown, I don't know what kind of name that is, muffed punt, Steelers recover in the end zone, touchdown, and then LeGarrette Blunt finishing it off, game closer, touchdown in the red zone, uh, finishing off what was a game clinching drive for the Steelers, Just domination, 37 points, of domination pretty much by the Pittsburgh Steelers. So the Panthers have to look back at this game and have to say, what did we do wrong? What is wrong with the defense right now? They have to make adjustments because their schedule is about to get really tough. And this was not a game that they needed to lose. Big confidence taker for the uh, Panthers while it's a confidence builder for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, with that said, James Carter TV, what were your thoughts on this game? What were your thoughts on the performances of uh, the Panthers and of the uh, Steelers. Uh, comment down below that. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.